Whoa, greetings again. Now this is for Saturday's upload. Seems to be going pretty well as for staying a day ahead. I don't look at the numbers or anything. I don't really care, so I just keep uploading. Um, as for today's connection, yeah, I just uploaded. Um, about social network, so that's in the link down below. Of course, that's a little bit, a couple of links down or down. It's it's on the description there somewhere. <laughs> so uh, it's not the first link; it's a couple down, but uh, it's uh, I'll be showing that here. And the idea for that again is for those that too. Um, other than Facebook, has a lot of features that previous uh, creations of mine have failed. This one seems to be the better of all of them. I was going to go with Ning. Ning is just a disaster. I'm not sure how they're still even around. But this thing has everything that Ning has with butter. doesn't have the mobile app. I mean, you can go on your phone, but it doesn't have like a, an icon you can click on it right there. I eventually will have that. Who knows? I have one now, and um, I'm seeing if I can modify that a little bit. We'll see. For messaging, if it's, if it's of any importance. Um, I would say I'm trying to take out Facebook or anything like that. I'm still just a little, I'm just this big on the internet and everywhere else. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but definitely, I, was, I think this is probably one of the better sites I've had. And uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. It has chat, has pretty much everything that Facebook would have. Um, you know, it's simplified, but you know, what do you want? So I think this is, it has pages. You can make a page for somebody. It doesn't have to be just for you. It can be for anybody. Uh, it can be for anyone. I have not played with that yet. It has events. Apparently that did not work, but I'll mess with that later. Not to say anybody posts that anyway, but for the most part, the functionality is pretty good. So uh, it's all for good fun. It's basically sharing. So you can put on Facebook. That's great. But if you want other places to put it, this is here and I have other creations. Yeah, I mentioned I'm kind of kind of really looking forward to it. Some more primitive than this one, but the reason for that one was also it's, I was looking at 4chan, and that's pretty primitive. So I was kind of like going into that direction of just you know old fashionedness. Uh, but eventually, might get this might get an app. I'm not expecting it to get huge, but whatever. But the functionality of it is really good. So it's like uh, Ning. A lot of people had problems getting into Ning. If you have your Facebook account and get right into this thing, not a problem, as far as I can tell. Um, so it's I have some, some extra add-ons. I move things around here little by little by little, but for the most part. I think it's a pretty good oil machine. And if you want me to talk about something, not to say I always will, but uh, this is a place to do it. If, or advertiser services, or whatever it might be, uh, this is a place to go. So uh, it's an experiment. I've experimented with this many times, and uh, they all have not gone so well. So, um, uh, my heart wasn't always in it. It was, but wasn't. Da, 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 da. But, uh, this one I plan on sticking to it uh, for the long haul. And and uh, yeah, I have the other ones. The other children in the in the in the womb are going to be. These are probably kind of humorous, uh, but uh, but let's see. They're all experiments. And uh, another thing about this one, it can be like a YouTube type of thing. Of course. Put YouTube videos on there. I was always looking for a way of, you know, YouTube seems to run everything, at least video wise for now. But this is another way, like an aggregator of like videos you want out there. And of course, if you have videos of yourself, you can make it your own. And you can always close everybody out and just have your own friend circle if you want. And nobody will know you're, you're there. So that's cool too. So it has all the functionality, you just have to be on your desktop and be on the phone. Well, it can be, but it's not the same. But it, you can, though. It's not like a messenger app was put that way. So, um, yeah, I'm working on 
uh, Jake and everything. It just stuff takes a lot of time, and I'm still working on on the Jake project. Issue three is uh, it's a big one, so it's taking it's near its final, it's near its end. So, um, but as for what's going on, uh, can't go into a whole lot, but not nothing. No big announcement. I don't have anything. Nobody's gotten back to me, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna. I'm not uh, working on uh, getting uh, the rabbit out there. So, what am I talking about? Uh, SimonTar.com. Yeah, you know, private sessions open throughout the week. Here are uh, the scheduler is here, and yeah, Google Hangouts, Skype, Zoom, channel by phone. It's all recorded and uh, it's for you to do as you wish. We also have, uh, you can submit uh, uh, questions. I'm, I'm working on catching up. I'm on Saturday, I think. So those are submitted Saturday, I'm answering Saturday. So I'm getting a little bit faster kind of throughout the weekend. I should be catching up quite a bit. Well, it's getting better. We also have a, a mobile app, an apps, uh, app, iPhone and Google. And I might have an announcement for that probably next week. We'll see how things go with that. So, <clears throat> why are you making noises anyway? Uh, I have uh, the Jake comic. Yeah, Jake is, you know, not everybody wants a rabbit from space, at least in the mainstream media and the comic world isn't really too keen on them yet, but that's okay. Things take time. I'll get them in there somehow. <laughs> and also I have uh, local cars. I have another shop also. Uh, that might be, uh, yeah, it'll be a lot easier to purchase, uh, but it's not available yet. I would assume that this store is still operating. Yes. So there's another one that looks pretty much identical to this one, but man, it works a lot better. So I'll, I'll be out most likely bringing that up tomorrow. We also have uh, the Alien Adventure book. So, and also the Jake comic, he has his own website and everything. So, um, doing what I can for him, it's just, he's a little bit ahead of his time, so as you can tell. So, but uh, more, more is, uh, I do have a cover, I'll reveal that when the time is right next issue but it's about to wrap up it takes time for all of this to come through also spirit social uh submit question healing past life regression message from yesterday channel consulting five minute healing uh one question from a day shocker healing from days uh and joe greg from miguel uh crystal and healing from nick and uh, uh ask a question from yosim and her other uh services here so Thank you for your support. Yeah, answering questions as quickly as possible. Um, battling a cold. Now for those, oh yeah, there's a social network also. And this, what I, I find time at work where I can do these things. So that's where this came about. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not expecting a huge uh, membership following, but uh, definitely, uh, the sucker is not going anywhere for sure. It's like my fifth, tenth inver version of it, but uh, it's definitely uh, one of other projects that are uh, coming that are on their way. Let's put it that way. But other expansions are, yeah, the rabbit is, yeah, that's another reason I'm tired. Is that I'm working on other ways of uh, getting him into the mainstream. <clears throat> Can't go into right now, but well, I'm basically knocking on doors and not getting anywhere. So I had one person that said it was cool, but they might have been smoking crack at the same time they said that. So who knows if they ever get back to me, they might not. So they're not rushing to get back to me. So either way, I had one person I was interested in it out of like 30. So at least I got somewhere, but still got no evidence either way. It'll, it'll come eventually. Um, it's definitely in the works. 
Uh, as for our message for uh, today, is there anything else? Uh, Super Bowl is coming. Can't wait. Um, yeah, looking forward to not watching it. Um, as for, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of worn out today. But as for uh, those that are new to all of this and wonder what uh, where we're going with all this alien talk and spiritual talk, basically the world's yeah going to a fourth dimensional vibration. We're already in fourth dimension, I guess. Or sometimes might say maybe we're in two D or one D. Or maybe zero D. <laughs> Wait, it feels like zero sometimes. Um, uh, yeah, little by little, you see the world change. Obviously, I'm happy and fast, but uh, yes, you are. Everyone's making an impact. Those that want an, a change, a more positive world, you are making uh, a shift. Uh, just imagine many of are feeling it. It just takes time. Um, <clears throat> as for alien inv intervention, the world needs to become. A better place <laughs> and so our political leaders are feeling it <laughs> I believe so and others will follow so as for um, let's see as for like my place here in all of this assisting with the ascension uh, a tall blonde Nordic uh, what what Nordic aliens do? They come to worlds like this and it's just in their ascension process. And kind of like wonder, why did I come to this world again? What what was I thinking? <clears throat> oh, okay. So I guess we get chosen for this. We can say yes or no. Obviously, I said yes. I must be nuts, but that's all right. Um, it all comes, it all has a purpose in the long run. But the idea is to make uh you know, turn the world upside down for the better. Uh, even though some are going to go kicking and screaming. Well, they can go kick. I mean, nobody's forcing ascension on anybody. Uh, it is a free will connection. But realize those in the third dimension that are, don't believe in any of this and just just got their Anunnaki and Archon programmings all in there. <clears throat> got it all rolling and got their Netflix on and got all their got their Super Bowl on, got whatever other nonsense in their third dimensional world, all that's purely activated and the, you know, the programming must continue. So I'm not sure how many are going to, I mean, some are going to hold on to it no matter what and it's theirs. So that's fine. Um, but I also feel that like religions will eventually uh, crumble um, because that's manipulation in due time. I've always wondered about that in the past. It's like, how does that all work? It's like people are, you know, you can still hold on to it, obviously, but basically I see their numbers uh, falling apart in due time. Uh, yeah, just become less and less and less and less. And then they'll be saying, you guys are all going to hell. You're not joining us. And they'll become less less and less and less so <clears throat> it's an interesting i mean it's already happening it's just not happening in big numbers uh as the world becomes less negative you know you'll see a shift of uh us going into a four you'll see four dimension come in you know it's like it's there's only so many areas it can heal and so it just takes time um Let's see. <clears throat> There's a title of this video I was going to make. It's going to be super sarcastic. But I'm trying to remember what it was, though. Um, it was something, I, I might still call it that. I have to see if I can write it down and try to remember it. Um, what was it? It was like, I'm a, yeah, I forgot. It's like, I'm a, uh, I'm a third dimensional, I'm in third dimension, uh, uh, I forgot what, I'll have to think about it later, but I don't want to forget it either. Third dimension, human, prison, <laughs> and 
now I am free. <laughs> like that. Okay, it's not that long. <clears throat> that was the gist of it. Yeah, this world again, I mean, you don't have to look at it as a prison plan. But it does have all the, the it has all the fixings for it. That's for sure. As you come into this world, you feel like it's like, okay, I got to get a job. I have to feed myself. I got to do all the, you know, I got to, I got to do all this. I got to be a good human. I got to be well programmed. And it's all just a programming system. It's fucking gross. It's like, welcome to the, it should be welcome to the world. Glad you are here. This is your world. Go for it. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> Here's education. You, you can educate yourself if you want. Imagine the A's and B's and all that will be educated. The basics will find their way to you. And it's up to you where you go with that. But in this world, it's, uh, it's like if you don't learn anything, you're going to be on the street or whatever it is. And be a nice zombie or whatever, however you want to word it. It's just unbelievable. So this world was never meant to be. Well, in the beginning, I believe it was meant to be easy or at least loving. And <clears throat> as the, uh, I mean, yeah, there are other, uh, in Atlantis, there are other beings here that were causing manipulation Orion's really coming through um, there's felines there's obviously there's uh, reptilians on and on and on it's only, it's only you need a card catalog of how many beings are trying to manipulate well they're fascinated by us they want to, they want to be in on the show I guess some of them might feel like this human race feels like it's it some races might feel like wow this this species thinks it's better than us so we'll see about that <laughs> so probably that came into it there's so many different things out there it just it's uh yeah and here we are <laughs> in a prison world but I, like i said i felt like atlantis was always meant to go down if because it's like I think I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I probably did. But I'm mentioning it again. It's like, okay, we have all this advanced knowledge, but there's something lacking. And so, for us to learn that, is we have to go to sleep. And that's crazy. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, we have to go to sleep, and here we are. And now we're talking about aliens and and uh, uh, angels and nobody sees anything because they're on another dimension but let me tell you that's going to become more and more here basically your intentions for having more positive world is is a huge effect connect to your spiritual self allow more of this stuff and you can you know astrally travel and things of that sort is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and we're all called crazy for right now those days won't you know it's okay it's going to last for a while but when you look at what the human, third dimensional human, look what they're going through, their program, they're just, they think they're whatever, superior than everybody, wherever it might be. You see the programming there, it's like, send them love. And it's like, I understand you don't agree, that's fine. Uh, but uh, you're wrong. <laughs> no, I, you know, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's nice, your whole life is about playing and watching football and, uh, being a slave, that's great, but I, I, I'd rather have something more to my life than that. Like getting in a car and just get, you know, just getting into a car on the interstate is like suicide on this planet, right? Pretty much. I mean, you're safe for the most part, but then there's that chance of, it's pretty much like suicide highway, basically. You know, that's this world, how it operates. So it's like, in school and that's just uh you know indoctrination camp for sure all these all these programming centers here they can only last so long you might call us crazy but you might want to turn that that pointing finger the other direction because that's i mean when it's when a teacher goes to school you have all these students that are like nuts 
either going to kill you or not do that, but you know what I mean. But, you know, it's just a big, you know, it's, it's, it's an insane sound, basically. And so is this. So, you know, I mean, why? I mean, if a teacher goes, you're basically babysitting, right? And try not to get attacked. Or try to, I mean, some of these teachers are out, you know, they think it's like a dating site or a place for dating. And this kid's like 15, you know. That's how, and that's super Anunnaki. From what I feel, of course, there's probably other people that do the same thing. That's very, that's very Anunnaki. That's so Anunnaki. That's one way to explore. And there's so many different alien species. So many, so many, I didn't get into. <clears throat> but if you connect to a being that no one's ever heard of, that doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just nobody's ever heard of them. So I believe, I mean, I believe in you. Let's put it that way. There's only so much I can connect with. Uh, I connect to a lot of strange stuff. I haven't connected to anything bizarre recently. The Orion's have been really heavy around me recently. Uh, for, yeah, they're just, they're ready to be healed. They're ready for, uh, they find these connections very interesting. It does help them get, you know, find their space. All these beings want to be known here in the physical eventually. But as you, you can feel them around, can't you? Okay, may, like I'm at work, so like I don't feel anything. Like that feels like, get me out of here. But, um, but when I'm away from there, I feel, you know, connected. Especially here, when I do these videos, I really feel. Because I'm, I'm at my moment of zen. When, I'm, when I leave work, I eat something, and go to sleep. Take a nap, and I come here and do this. So... I'm trying to lessen my hours a little bit, but um, duty calls. It's hard to do that when you have a, a nine to five job. And uh, I'm still battling the cold here and there because I might get enough rest probably. So I'm trying. <laughs> Every time I think I'm getting better, I just, I'm not sleeping enough. I'm trying to, I just gotta shoot myself on a tranquilizer and I'll be out of here. Um, but, uh, but as for where, uh, Humanity is going eventually, though. They're, they're going to see us as. See, I guess let's put it this way there might be some force here. I might put force out there because I don't think much of the third dimensional reality. I think, I think others are in the same way. It's like, yeah, that's great, but yeah, but you know, jail isn't really for, you know, what you're living is prison. Like, my family is like, for example, it's like they don't believe in all this stuff, like about Jesus is coming back, and uh, she says she says that we're going to the end of times forever. My mother, we're in the end of times. She's gonna live through it. I'll be left behind. I mean, she actually told me this. I was like, I think I'm more of a teenager, and every day after that. So it's like, can you imagine that? It's like you're gonna to go to heaven. I'll be stuck here wandering around. It's like, come on, that's that's some scary stuff. But what's even scarier is that you're not going to go either. We're all just going to stay here forever. <laughs> so that's even more frightening. So, yeah, it's like I have to believe in this stuff. i got to believe in something. So whatever. <laughs> believe in whatever you want to believe in. But uh, I don't see the end of the world. I don't see a financial collapse. I don't see, like, I mean, there's going to be earth changes here and there. I'm not seeing anything major. Yeah, fire might happen in California again, unfortunately. I hope not, but it's hard to predict that stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's hard to say. It's not looking good. <laughs> As for hurricanes, I don't know. It's unlikely we're going to have the same thing this year, what happened last year. That was freaking insane, but you never know. I don't think so because we come into the, to areas where it's like, but you never know. I'm not, I'm seeing that as unlikely this year, but like what happened in Texas. So, um, but as for weather attacks, it's hard to say. It's hard to predict this stuff because they don't want you to predict it, and it's probably best you don't. <laughs> it's like, do you want to know? I'd rather have a peaceful year without being attacked. Uh, uh, like the weather, like uh, up north, they had like a hurricane type of. Yeah, it's probably manipulated. Also, they call it normal. It's not. So as for where, where, where we are heading, I believe into a more positive timeline. I believe so. 
yeah, Bitcoin, all that, yeah, it's all corrupt. But, you know, probably a time to get in. I just don't understand it. But um, I think that's still, I think that's good. I don't think money's going to go away anytime soon. I do believe we will go into a positive timeline. It's not going to be easy. Uh, many, many are going to go kicking and screaming when to start wars. You know, those that want to start World War III, they're going to keep saying it. But it's like, just, just quiet down there. So that's the same with anything else. I believe violence will become less and less over time. It just takes time. You know, so just trust in yourself. What world do you want to live in? Connect with that. Because that is very powerful. You know, thoughts are things. And... Uh, we're making it happen as for you know a more positive existence here. Many are going to have trouble believing in any of this. We pretty much are living in a movie. There are alien beings here causing their, you know, they're going to call us crazy all the way because they don't see them. But realize you don't see them because humans are so manipulated and so brainwashed it cause this hysteria. But they're here. And uh, trust me, the more positive ones are here. The heavier energy is more positive. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't, the world would not be here right now. It would be destroyed, for sure. We'll all be in, or in camps or whatever it might be. That's not the case. So the positive ones, obviously, they have to wait for us to be ready to see them. So we got to pretty much take our crap and just get rid of it. And people are connecting to that. It's a very third dimensional, very programmed by Anunnaki archons. They don't realize they get all angry. They don't realize when they put anger out there and yelling and screaming and crying, whatever, they're, they're showing all their manipulations. They're not realizing that. People do a thumbs down on the video, whatever, manipulated here and there. That's fine. You always don't agree with me out here. Of course, you don't always have to agree with anything. But there's sometimes there's a trolling energy out there. Let's put it that way. I don't always don't agree with everybody. But. Either way, anytime you put any kind of anger, any kind of low vibration, that is showing you manipulate what's going on with you. Uh, that doesn't mean it's always a being hanging around you causing this stuff. It's just what they've already done to you, basically. And the idea is to release it. It's just healing. It just takes time. You have to want to get better to get better, but many are not going to get better for sure. Right now. Well, he you know, knows. So it's just like they're gonna call us crazy because they don't see these beings here. I'm not ready for it <laughs> for a good reason. Yeah, because these beings are all crazy. I believe more of the Nordic uh, Palladians would be here, maybe the AEL, but I feel more Palladian would be here because they look like us. I believe that would be. I mean, I know I hear this like yeah, yell, yeah, yell, and probably in some for some, yeah. But I feel more Nordic because they, you know, they look just like us. They can, I mean, yeah, y'all can do it too. But maybe because I'm just more connected to the to the Nordics. But um, it's it's going to be different for everybody, you know. As for who, when the aliens start showing themselves, but they're going to show themselves as us. You know, just know who they are, and you know, they'll, they'll work through is telepathy if they do appear to you. As for Zetas and all that possible also, but obviously that'll be on that. I mean, all of those sightings, like personal sightings will be most likely individually, somewhere quiet or somewhere nature or something like that, uh, for sure. So uh, it, all, it all just takes time. As for, you know, I don't see any alien invasions. It's going to take time. You know, yeah, there's so much, like, in the government, so much corruption there. Um, I believe we are going in a better direction from what I feel. Not just because there's a Republican in there. It's just that it just feels like they we're going into, I don't see it as a trickster energy there. Let's put it that way. Others might not agree with it, but, you know, uh, alien energies are going to become more in people in, in the face of humanity eventually. As for when, who knows? We're called crazy, but you know, it's eventually you're going to have to to come out of the cradle and start walking. <laughs> you know, you know, being the cradle of, of 3D, you know, everything's you no know, everything. We're just here all by ourselves. <laughs> we're just. Yeah, we're just taking the idiot formula. That's all. <laughs> That's all right. But not to say that, but. 
it's like, you know, there's obviously in the history of the earth, you see, you know, you see you know, alien um, intervention there. We're not seeing them here is because we've been so damn manipulated here. You know, we're so hostile to each other. It's hard for them to show themselves here. You know, that's why. So we're hostile because they're not, people are hostile because they don't see them. They don't believe them. So when you talk about aliens are hostile to you, it's because it's like, you know, how much how long is a BS going to last? You know, I mean, you got to let go of the hate and they're not going to let go of the hate. It's like, oh, I'm right. You're wrong. I'm, I'm arrogant and you're wrong. I have an Anunnaki behind me, but I'm right and you're wrong. You know, and all these war energies are just loving it up. <laughs> it's like, I don't realize when they, when people like, you tell them that aliens exist and people get all pissed off and angry at you. Not to say they're happening to you now, but you know, when a subject comes up, people freak out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't bring it up every day, not in public, no. Uh, but when it does come up, people kind of freak out to a certain degree. But some are like, whoa, that's interesting. I want to hear more. And then others are like being kind of, you know, dicks about it. Um, and that shows you some manipulation. But also, they're just not ready to see this stuff. I don't know when they're going to be ready to see this stuff. I know a lot of us are ready to see this stuff ready to get get it get get on with this but um we have to play on the charade must continue uh as for how long it's hard to say but we are going into more of a, a positive environment but it does seem like also that i don't know if they're going to pull out the big guns or something and you know the alien environment like the, the works you know the jake the rabbit stuff like that kind of easing it into society little by little you know, just, just the thought of aliens actually being here. I mean, we're all just being tricked. It's like, that's freaking people out. Just that thought freaks people out. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? It's like, whoa, is there something behind me? <laughs> I'm ready for that. <laughs> so, I mean, that right there would probably freak people out. So, so, I, uh, so who knows? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's coming, but... Eventually, now this isn't just about aliens, it's about angels and spirits. That will come into a time where it's going to become more mainstream eventually. How, I mean, there are Project Camelot, there's other areas that are, oh, I'm more mainstream than I am. That's for sure. I'm just the one to take here um, in my little, my little corner of YouTube, ignored by YouTube, well, buried by YouTube, probably. I'm surprised I'm getting recommended at all on YouTube, but either way. Um, people aren't ready for this stuff. They're, they see alien, extraterrestrial stuff probably on the YouTube channel. It's like, whatever, you're just nuts. You're just making it all up, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? Everybody's connected to this. <laughs> Maybe it's not for you. That's all right. Say what you got to say, but we're all connected to this. If it's not, you're not getting the information that you're looking for, who cares? Go somewhere else. I mean, you know, if you want the la di da stuff, that's fine. Um, some are, from what I've gotten, I mean, I've been attacked by people and they're actually heavily um, manipulated. And they don't know it. So, they have no idea. They're just going on their ego, their darkness, and, you know, saying all kinds of stuff. And they're heavily manipulated. So it's like, okay, whatever you say, say whatever you got to say and go for it. So it's just the way it does. There's not much you can do about it. Uh, just send just send healing. Of course, you might get attacked by that, which I think I have. Because um, they want to know that they're right. So when someone knows, wants to know that they're right, that you're fake or whatever it is, that's a tough that's a tough fight there because they're gonna constantly send you negativity until they get what they want. Not to say it's all cases, but there are cases that does exist. Just to let you know. Because I've experienced it. I might be still experiencing it now, maybe. Uh, but I know I'm in the right. If it is not for you, I don't care. But the real deal is on its way. Uh either through me, I think so, somehow. Um I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to have like a, I don't know, 
I'm trying to beat down Hollywood somehow to get. I've been trying. I've been writing this stuff forever. I've been channeling forever. I've been writing stuff, creating stuff. Nothing. Nothing ever felt right. To, the time. What I'm getting told is time is never right. You know, it's like why well, haven't had anything published yet? Yada. The time. It's timing. Some people just don't. It's just not their time yet. People. I mean, look, chant. Same for goes for those that, of you that are awakening now. It's like, why didn't I awaken five months from now or it's five years from now? You know, why didn't I wake up 10 years ago? That's what I'm talking about. Like five years ago, 10 years ago. It's all about timing. Like when my, I mean, in 2011, I woke up to my own abilities and I heard about aliens, but never really connected to them. But it's funny, I, but I've always been writing about them. Yeah, alien theme parks, that's all my writing. <laughs> that's before I started doing any of this. So I've been talking about, can I, well, I just invented my mind, though. But there always been, like, Zeta type of uh, aliens, though. So, so that's funny. So it's all, I don't have the answers to that. Like, why now? I don't know. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Well, yes and no. But, yeah, I don't – eventually they would get the answer. I think it's kind of important because I think it would be kind of interesting to know that. But uh, it's all timing. All has to, it's all, yeah, connected to the universe. It's obviously in the spirit world they have it all figured out. And we're just here playing we're, – we're actors in the show. We're all losing our minds. <laughs> I mean, those that are – awaken to all of this it's like okay now i know what's here aliens are here or whatever it is why am i here again why am i on this world to wake it up well nobody's waking up it's time to go <laughs> it's like well a couple of people did that's good that's enough can i go now nope great <laughs> so but um i mean i'm here for the long long haul but uh i'm definitely looking for change eventually and I'm trying to get some of this creative work out there. I got Jake. And from what I've mentioned this before, like with Jake's stuff, it's a little bit heavier for people right now. I'll tell you that. And it's just a rabbit, an alien. I mean, come on. Should I replace the aliens and put like little, like little furball people instead? You know, so that's heavy for people. That's heavy for people. It's like, are you kidding me? So, I told you the environment. I mean, if you can't handle that, I mean, uh, I think Adult Swim Camp, but getting connected to somebody there is like not easy. So, um, I think there is obviously there's a chance for him to get in there, but it's uh, not easy. And I only, I only have so much time in my day to work on this. So, I got to be careful not burning myself out. So, I gotta make a video, so I gotta be careful with my own energy. So I gotta manage my my time well. That was in my mind. I'm trying to get better, and I'm getting sick again. So I'm being careful with all that. Always trying to at least. Then I'll get better in March. <clears throat> is it, what February's here now? Yeah, it's not that bad. Last year was really bad. I couldn't hear out of my ear. I mean, it felt like there was a bubble in my ear. So I don't have that. But just still, like I'm pick up the phone at work and answer it and what like, <laughs> well and then you know I try to talk it's like so I still have something but yeah I took something today anyway I take stuff every day but I think yeah rest is number one for sure but uh as for um alien awakenings um uh, like events have to happen a little by little Trust me, I am more than happy to get a truck and drive downtown, you know, with aliens are here written all over it. I don't think that's a good uh, way to go about it. I'll get a big laugh out of it, but other people might freak out. So the idea is to not freak people out. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So at least for me, it's your creativity in other ways. I don't know. So um, like you have the UFO groups, that's great and everything, but it's kind of like your little clubs, little niches, that's fine and work. But the idea is to hit the mainstream, you know, 
I mean, hit the mainstream, tell them what they don't want to hear. You know, the big news groups, the news so it shows you it's all Anunnaki or whatever beings that are there doing mass manipulation. You just listen to people. I don't listen to the news, but sometimes I check into it. It's just massive manipulation. It's just, it's, you want to know how manipulated your world is that you go to, just, just turn on the television <laughs> and see where they're at. So, and uh, there are awakenings here and there. I believe it will get stronger. It just takes time. Cause, yeah, because it's like, you know, I, see, I mean, the idea is to do it with the love. And going around telling everybody what's here, it's just going to freak people out. You got to, you know, disclose with love. And that's what's important. So uh, maybe I'll name it that. Like loving disclosure. That's what that's what's needed. Uh, they can call us crazy all they want. It's like, that's fine. You guys are in your old prison over there. And I think it's great. We're all here trying to be free. Well, we are free. If you want to live in that prison world, I think you should. You know, with your belief systems, your churches, your whatever. You got your prison bars there. I think that's fine. The rest of us, no thanks. It's like, I'm not trying to build a cult here or anything like that. I'm just saying freedom and just free to connect to your energies and just no more manipulations. Basically, that's the main message here. And just no more and we're going into the right direction, wherever it might be. So, yeah, reason for social network is just connect. Um, hopefully, the right people will find it, is what I'm looking at. It's like, whoever finds it, finds it for a reason. Whoever posts it, posts it for a reason. It's not there for everybody. It's for those that need to do it. So, that's why I'm looking at that. So, if there's only like one person, two persons, whatever, or nobody, that's fine, too. Um, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a totally different than last year. Because last year was like I was, either way, I got other other uh, connections. But um, as for mass, massive awakening, it's going to happen eventually. Um, it has to happen with love, of course. It's the only way it's going to work. You know, you can preach to the choir all you want. It's not going to work. So, uh, but yeah, for. <sighs> For um, the awakening, it's uh, it's in flux. It's been going on for some time. Uh, as more people connect to their beings and share their message, yeah, sharing your message is very it helps. Definitely, the world does get stronger with it for sure. Whatever it might be, because more people will channel, more people will heal. You know, it's a positive connection. Some might say it's, oh, nefarious beings or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know what? You have positive connection, right? Just, if you feel like what you're doing is right, just do it. Don't care about anybody else says. You know, some people say, oh, you only connect to negative beings, blah, blah, blah. Well, let them go do that. Let them say that. Let them say whatever they're going to say. You know, if you have positive intentions, you're fine. Just do it. You're going to get that stuff. It's just the way it is. It's the way it is. Some people are just jealous, whatever it might be. If you have positive intentions, and other people don't think it is. I mean, if you're saying positive, some people say, oh, yeah, that's a negative being. If you like send love and light to everyone, oh, well, that's a negative right there. I don't know where they get that shit from, so whatever. Yeah, your intentions is power. And that's what's taking us to the next level. Who cares what other people think? Just follow your hearts. That is, you know, because people are going to think whatever they're going to do, it's fine. We're in a hostile world. It's a prison world. I would call it prison. It is. I mean, it's a prison planet, pretty much. And uh, this is what looks like un undoing the bars. No negativity. I mean, you're going to have some here and there. Nobody's perfect. But, you know, either way, you have positive intentions. I don't want to be a slave to my job. I don't want anybody else to be a slave. I don't want anybody to sleep on the street either. Can't you live where you want to live and do what you want to do and like mentally think it and be there? That's where we're heading. That's where we're heading. And the prison mentality of the third dimension will become less and less and less. I mean, it's a prison mentality that is 
people aren't realizing because the programming is massive. I think we'll also get knowledge of how to more of how to deal with it little by little. Because, yeah, because everyone has their own belief system, obviously. You have your own reality. That's wrong with that. The idea is to uh, not have anybody, you know, tell you what to do. Follow your heart. That's what matters most. That's where we're heading. Uh, there's no mind control here. It's just freedom. Mental freedom is where we're heading for. And I'm going to be hanging out with a bunch of weirdo looking Zetas and just being bizarre. <laughs> so they are weird. <laughs> so it's my posse. So, um, um, that's about it for tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get it channeling a break. I'm so tired from yesterday. So, get some rest so much love everyone have a great day this will be uploaded at uh, noon tomorrow so take care and uh, happy connections happy channelings happy just being yourself so